let me show you two applications that in theory may slightly modify your system not only for overclocking as well for underclocking and undervolting in which case actually what you're gonna be what you're gonna do to cool down the systems actually if the system is overheating a bit so the first application which we're gonna use is the NSI afterburner and the second application is the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility which might be just downloaded downloaded from the manufacturer's web pages as I already have this application installed in my system I'm gonna run the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and within that I'm gonna change only the core voltage offset within the advanced tuning to minus 130 millivolts on Alienware 17R4 even as well on the R5 where it is not necessary as within the new Alienware systems there is a new command center where you can adjust these as well <laughs> but these are not supported on the R4 so it's just gonna select and apply and within the MSI afterburner as this application is not intended actually just to be used on Alienware you might, I'm not will be capable to change anything but there is a small icon over here so if I click on it I have a graph actually and these need to be just adjusted so I just drag it down with the shift and so the whole slide will go down and I'm gonna grab the 825 just gonna drag it up to 1730 come on 30 1734 it's okay and gonna hit apply so the curve will be just adjusted actually and everything after 0 0.825 millivolts will be just set up to this specific frequency so as the curve is set I'm just gonna save it as my preset over here and that's it actually after that you might just stress up the system a bit and you might see that that might you you might just see the differences actually between between the temperatures on the graphic card and as well on the CPU as well. But this depends actually specifically by system. Every system is different, so yeah, you might just play with these and don't be frustrated actually for the first time. Just the system might end up with a blue screen or anything actually. Nothing will just break or just damage your system. Every, only what will just happen, the system will just end up with the blue screen or just shut down immediately and after that you will just be capable to just restart the system or will just boot up several times <coughs> usually just start up the first time, just shut down immediately just start up and after after, after you go to the operating system you will see a notification that the system was incorrectly just shut down so all the settings will just reset within the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility so that's it. Thank you very much for listening and wish you a nice day.